Welcome to the parental engagement video on how to use Google Classroom and Google Meet. In this video, you will find out how to access and log into Google Classroom on a PC, laptop, tablet, or smartphone device. You will also find out how to access set work, submit completed work, ask your teacher a question, access Google Meet. If you are using a tablet or smartphone device, you may wish to skip ahead as I will be explaining how to use a tablet and smartphone device later in the video. To access Google Classroom on a laptop or a PC, open a web browser and type in classroom.google.com into the search bar located at the top of the screen. In the center of the screen, you will see two options. Click on Go to Classroom. Here, you will be able to type in your child's email that has been provided by the school. Once you have typed in the email address, click next and the password box will appear. Now enter the password provided by the school. Once you have entered the password, click next. Here you will see your child's class name. This section is where you'll find the work that has been set by the class teacher. You may be prompted to accept an invite to the class. If this happens, just click join. To access your child's classroom, click on the class name. This will take you to the classroom stream. The stream shows the latest posts from your child's teacher. These updates can be assignments your child is required to complete or the link to join daily Google Meet sessions. As you can see towards the top of the screen, there are three different tabs, stream, classwork and people. Click on the classwork tab. Your child's work is organized into days. Scroll down to the appropriate day and click on the subject title. Here you will see the lesson resources. Your child is expected to complete the work on the Google Docs resource. Click on the resource which has the subheading Google Docs. This is where your child is expected to complete their work. Encourage them to read the learning intention and questions carefully before starting. Once read, scroll down to below the learning intention to begin typing. Once your child has completed their work, they are required to submit it to their teacher. To do this, navigate your way to the top right of the screen and click on Turn In. This will automatically open a new tab and a prompt will appear asking you if you would like to turn in your child's work. Click on Turn In. Once you have clicked this, the work has been submitted and your child's teacher will be notified. If an error has been made, you can unsubmit the work, return back to the Google Doc, correct the error and repeat the turn in process. If your child has handwritten their work, you are able to take pictures of the work and submit these to the teacher. To do this, return to the classwork tab in your child's classroom. Click on the appropriate subject title and click on view assignment. This will take you to an overall look of the assignment. To the right of the screen, you will see an add or create button. Once clicked, it will show a number of options. If the pictures you have taken are saved on your PC or laptop, click file and navigate your way through the files to upload the image. Once selected, click on turn in. Your child can ask their teacher questions throughout the day. To do this, make sure you are on the classwork tab on Google Classroom and look for the ask questions topic. Then click on ask a question assignment and click view assignment. You will then see private comments to the right of the screen. This is where your child can type their message and click the arrow button to send it. Their teacher will be notified and will respond. Your child is required to attend a daily Google Meet session. To access these Google Meet sessions, you will need the Google Meet link. To find the link, navigate your way to your child's class by clicking on the class name. This will take you to the classroom stream as shown previously. Your child's teacher will post a message containing the Google Meet link. Click on the link located on the post. Once the link is opened, you will see a microphone and video icon. Please make sure the microphone is muted before your child joins the Google Meet session. You can check this by ensuring the microphone icon is red. If it is not, click on the microphone icon to mute it. To the right of this, you will see a Join Now button. Click on this to join the meeting when your child is ready.
Once in the Google Meet session, you will see a number of icons along the bottom of the screen. The microphone and camera icons you have seen previously, the red icon in between these buttons is the leave call button. Your child also has the option to use the raise hand button. When clicked, the teacher will be notified that your child has a question. While the microphone icon is red, your child will be on mute. To unmute the microphone, click the icon once. This is shown by the icon turning white. Please ensure that your child remains on mute unless prompted otherwise by the teacher. When the meeting is over, the teacher will ask your child to leave the call. Click on the leave call button to do this. To access Google Classroom and Google Meet on a tablet or smartphone device, ensure you have the Google Classroom and Google Meet apps installed. To ensure your child can complete their work and submit it, also download the Google Docs app. Before starting, make sure you have logged in to Google Meet and the Google Docs app using your child's username and password provided by the school. Open the Google Classroom app and you will be prompted to enter your child's email address, which has been provided by the school. Once you have typed in the email address, click Next. You will then be prompted to enter your child's password. Once you have typed in the password, click Next. Here you will see your child's class name. This section is where you'll find the work that has been set by the class teacher. You may be prompted to accept an invite to the class. If this happens, just click Join. To access your child's classroom, click on the class name. This will take you to the classroom stream. The stream shows the latest posts from your child's teacher. These updates can be the assignments your child is required to complete or the link to join daily Google Meet sessions. As you can see from the bottom of the screen, there are three different tabs, stream, classwork, and people. Click on the classwork tab. Your child's work is organized into days. Scroll down to the appropriate day and click on the subject title. Here you will see the lesson resources. Look towards the bottom of the page and you will see the heading, your work. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to access the Google Docs resource, which your child is expected to complete their work on. Swipe back down to access the lesson resources and click on the resource which has the heading of your child's name. This is where your child is expected to complete their work. Encourage them to read the learning intention and questions carefully before starting. Once read, click on the Go To button in the top right hand corner of the screen. The icon is a box with an arrow inside it. You will automatically be sent to the Google Docs app where your child will be able to complete their work. Click on the pencil icon in the bottom right hand corner so your child can begin their work. When they have finished their work, click the tick button in the top left hand corner. This will stop the editing mode. Once this is done, return back to the Google Classroom app. You will need to click the cross in the top left hand corner to hand the assignment in. To check your work before submitting, you can click on the resource which has the heading of your child's name. To complete the submission of the assignment, click the hand in button. You will be prompted with a box to ask if you want to hand in your child's work. Click hand in and your child's work will be submitted and your child's teacher will be notified. If your child has handwritten their work, you are able to take pictures of the work and submit these to the teacher. To do this, before you click the hand in button, you can click add attachment. Navigate your way through your files and add the pictures you have taken to the file submission. Then click hand in. Your child can ask their teacher questions throughout the day. To do this, make sure you are on the classwork tab on, the, on Google Classroom and look for the ask questions topic. Then click on the ask a question assignment. Then tap add private comment at the bottom of the screen. Then click add private comment again and type the message. Then click the arrow to the right of the message to send it. The teacher will be notified and will respond. Your child is required to attend a daily Google Meet session. To access these Google Meet sessions, you will need the Google Meet link. To find the link, navigate your way to your child's class by clicking on the class name. This will take you to the classroom stream as shown previously. Your child's teacher will post a message containing the Google Meet link. Click on the post and then on the link. This will automatically take you to the Google Meet app. 
Once the link has opened, you will see your microphone and video icon. Please make sure the microphone is muted before your child joins the Google Meet session. You can check this by ensuring the microphone icon has a line diagonally across it. If it is not, click on the microphone icon to mute it. To the right of these icons, you will see a join button. Click this to join the meeting when your child is ready. Once in the Google Meet session, you will see a number of icons along the bottom of the screen. The microphone and camera icons you have seen previously the red icon to the left of these buttons is the leave call button. Your child also has the option to use the raise hand button. When clicked, the teacher will be notified that your child has a question. While the microphone icon has a line through it, your child will be on mute. To unmute the microphone, click the icon once. This is shown by the icon not having a line through it. Please ensure your child remains on mute unless prompted otherwise by the teacher. When the meeting is over, the teacher will ask the child to leave the call. Click on the leave call button. Thank you for watching this parental engagement video on how to use Google Classroom and Google Meet. If you are still having issues or have any questions in regards to remote learning at Foxfield, please email your child's class teacher.